between this man, Sergio, and this woman, Marlon, in holy matrimony. This is the highest commitment that two human beings can possibly make to each other. This is not something to be entered into lightly. Indeed, you are not just joining two lives together, you are indeed joining two complete families as one. If there is any person here who has any reason to believe why these two people should not be joined together in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Very good. All right. Well, that's good. Sometimes we have objections, but that's good. We've already talked, talked about it. All right. Uh, now, at this point, the couple has written their own special vows that they would like to read to each other. So, uh, so at this time, I will ask the groom to kindly present his vows to his bride. Ma'am. La nueva tecnología. <risa> Está bien. Ok, Marlene. Todavía recuerdo la primera vez que te vi. Recuerdo que siempre te hacías la disimulada fingiendo no verme cada vez que me veías. Cruzamos un par de miradas, un par de palabras, un par de sonrisas. Y fue mágico. En ese momento, yo supe que estaremos juntos. Y aunque yo pasaba por un periodo de oscuridad... Yo sabía que estaremos juntos para siempre. Y tú serías la mujer de mi vida. Después te me fuiste. Y no supe de ti por casi un año. Pero siempre pensaba en ti. En la persona que me robó el corazón. En la persona que me hacía pensar siempre en ella. Después llegaste. Llegaste para quedarte. Y te convertiste en mi mejor amiga. Mi novia. Mi confidente. Y me diste el regalo más preciado que tengo en la vida, nuestra hermosa hija Victoria, que vino a iluminar aún nuestra, nuestra, más nuestra felicidad. Eres una persona llena de matices, de luz, graciosa, amorosa, bien despistada, un poco loca, pero te amo. Te amo con toda mi alma. Quiero darle gracias a Dios y gracias a ti, porque hoy por hoy lo tengo todo. Le pido mucho a Dios que me, de, que me ilumine para, que, para nunca fallarles. Y con nuestros familiares y amigos de testigos, quiero que sepas que voy a hacer todo lo humanamente posible para hacerte feliz toda la vida, después de la vida y hasta la muerte. Y aunque sé que vienen tiempos difíciles, habrá caídas, raspones, Pruebas difíciles, contigo a mi lado, como mi esposa, lo venceremos todo. Te amo. Muy bien. And now the bride will, will kindly present the groom with her special vows as well. Sí, <laughs> Ahora que estamos dando este gran paso en nuestras vidas, quiero recordarte lo mucho que te amo. Que te admiro y que eres parte de mí. Y quiero compartir contigo el resto de mi vida. Está bien. Te prometo que te amaré siempre como si fuera el primer día. Que seré... Siempre fiel a ti y a este inmenso amor que siento por ti. Prometo estar contigo todo el tiempo, siempre. Momentos difíciles cuando estés enfermo. Prometo darte tus Violectra, tu, tu Santa. Tu omeprazol, el que hace un mal que no puede faltar nunca. Tus vitaminas, tu guayalín. La guayalín. Y darte esos masajes que siempre me pides sin enojarme. Te lo prometo que no me enojaré. En momentos difíciles y en momentos felices, siempre estaré a tu lado. Te lo prometo. Very good. 
Very good. That was a very beautiful focus. Thank you. Now, we have the exchange of the rings. And the purpose of the ring, aside from being in the shape of a circle, you know, with, which is much easier to, to have on your finger on a permanent basis, is that the circle shape of the ring forms the unbroken circle of love, especially in a marriage that two people have for each other. We have the rings. Yes. yes. Very good. If you will, uh, Sergio, if you will kindly place the ring on Marlon's finger. Hold that. Yeah. There you go. Mommy. Oh, I look so lovely with flowers. Mommy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Place the ring. Okay. Yeah. You want to get the right ring? Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, that's important. Okay. Okay. Place the ring on her finger right there. And kindly repeat after me. With this ring. Con este anillo. I the web. Yo te prometo. I, Sergio. Yo, Sergio. Take the Marla. Tomo Marlene. To be my lawfully wedded wife. Para ser mi hermosa esposa. I promise to always love you. Te prometo siempre amarte. To always honor you. Siempre honrarte. To always respect you. Siempre respetarte. To always listen to you. Siempre escucharte. To always be patient with you. Siempre ser paciente contigo. And to always be Siempre ser your best friend tu mejor amigo and lovely wedded husband. Y tu esposo siempre fiel. Very well. And likewise, Ms. Marlon, if you would kind of place the ring onto Sergio's, there you go, onto his finger, there you go, right there. And repeat after me. You can tell me what to do. Okay. With this ring, Con este anillo. Con este anillo. I, the web, Yo, la novia. Yo, la novia. I, Marlon, Yo, Marlene. Yo, Marlene. Take the Sergio. Tomo, tomo a Sergio. Toma esto, Sergio. Toma esto, Sergio. <laughs> to be my lovely wedded husband. Tomo a Sergio para que sea mi um, querido esposo. I promise to always love you. To always honor you. To always respect you. To always listen to you. To always be patient with you. <clears throat> and to always be your best friend <laughs> and lawfully wedded wife. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I will give you the now, uh, I have a short passage out of uh, 1 Corinthians. And this is especially good advice for a newly married couple. If you can live by these words, it will help you to stay married for a long time. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. 
Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. I want her to, to understand that. That's fine. For we note in part, and we prophecy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part will disappear. When I was a child, I taught like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put aside my childish ways. For now, we see only a reflection in a mirror. But then, we shall see face to face. Now, I know Then, I shall know fully. Even as I have been fully known. The most important part. And now, these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Now, I can tell you, I was married in China almost nine years ago next month. In a marriage, it can be one of two things. You can be right, or you can be married. It's impossible to be married. It's impossible. It's impossible. No. It's, you, see, you cannot and will not, nunca, 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 be both. If you don't believe me, ask my wife. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, she's right. <laughs> and we both know it. But she chooses to be married instead of always insisting that she be right. I didn't say 99 times out of 100, just 9 times out of 10. She's not always If you're going to stay married for the long term, husbands, put your wives first. Wives, let the small things go. 99% of it is all small stuff. If you are going to fight about something, make it something big. Most of the stuff, it's still small. Today, it's the easy part, despite the time that it took for the preparation, <laughs> as the family will attest, I'm sure. <laughs> this is sometimes considered to be the most fun part. <laughs> but if you are going to stay married each and every day, you have be willing yeah. to stick together yeah. and work things out. Yeah. The most fun part of a marriage <laughs> is not actually today. The most rewarding and most enjoyable part can be from here on out. You will go through changes together in life. Perhaps a job change. 
por ejemplo, un cambio de empleo. Or perhaps you will move. O por ejemplo, mudarnos de casa. Or perhaps children. O hijos. There could be an illness or a death in the family. Una, una muerte o una enfermedad. No matter what, you have to stick together. Can you do this? Now, I have had no phone call, no text message, no pardon from the government. I even checked with the consulate to see if the president did any call had called and issued no. Nada. Are you both? Está bien. Okay. Are you both absolutely sure that this is what you want to do? I have one person here to say no, right here one time. Está <laughs> bien. Very well. We turn to face each other. So before I pronounce you and Sussman and Wife, we'll have a very short and quick blessing. If you could all bow, bow your heads if you wish. Dear Heavenly Father. We ask your blessings upon Sergio and Marla as they begin their journey together with you and with one another as husband and wife. We ask that you kindly help them to stay strong, to stay loving and loyal, Amándose y sean leales. To each other always. Con uno con el otro siempre. And to always be there for each other. Y siempre estar en uno para el otro. In both the good times and the bad. En los malos. And we ask your many blessings upon them. Te pedimos todas sus bendiciones encima de ellos. And we bless this marriage. Bendecimos este matrimonio. In the name of the Father. En el nombre del Padre. The Son. El Hijo. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Well, guys, it is my honor, yes no? my duty, and my privilege, by the power invested in me by our Lord God and the state of Oklahoma, <laughs> to officially pronounce you husband, marido, and wife. Okay. <laughs> Present to you, turn, turn and face the other, the happily married couple. Bravo.